And today I'm going to detail how the golden yellow alkaloid berberine fights the inflammation and especially the neurodegeneration of Alzheimer's. Neurodegenerative diseases, of which Alzheimer's is easily the most infamous, are characterized by a progressive degeneration of neurons in the central nervous system. While berberine by itself is not easily absorbed in the gut, its deposition in tissues like the liver, kidneys, muscle, lungs, heart, pancreas, fat, and the brain is much higher. Acetylcholine, the critical neurotransmitter so essential for learning and memory, is rapidly degraded by the metabolic enzymes acetylcholinesterase and butyrylcholinesterase, which both also participate in the deposition of amyloid plaque. And this is one major area where you can see berberine's brain protection, because berberine inhibits both acetylcholinesterase and butyrylcholinesterase significantly, thus, over time, preventing the onset of amyloid beta plaque. One way that berberine reduces amyloid beta peptide production is through inhibiting yet another metabolic enzyme called beta secretase, which is directly involved in activating the amyloid precursor protein while increasing the activity of our alpha secretase enzymes that normally prevent the generation of the amyloid precursor protein. Berberine is already well known as a powerful activator for our metabolic master switch enzyme, activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK. So it shouldn't be surprising then that AMPK is a dynamic part of berberine's reduction of beta secretase, thus protecting the hippocampus from degeneration. AMPK is a powerful inducer of autophagy, the critical metabolic process by which our cells cleanse themselves of toxins and other metabolic waste, and as we age, the efficiency of natural autophagy declines. And this deficiency of autophagy contributes heavily to accelerated aging because any impairment in autophagy can easily result in the accumulation of proteins and other waste material in the cell. So you can definitely see how such metabolic accumulation can contribute to the disastrous neurofibrillary tangles that distinguish Alzheimer's. Berberine is, again, notoriously difficult to absorb. And one reason for this is our body's permeability glycoprotein which is a natural transporter present in many organs that contributes to the body's distribution and assimilation of, of countless nutrients and compounds. The permeability glycoprotein complex is even an essential part of clearing amyloid beta across the blood-brain barrier. And in Alzheimer's, permeability glycoprotein levels are, accordingly, sharply reduced. While this may sound initially counterproductive, pertinent to berberine, this Alzheimer's-driven reduction in permeability glycoprotein levels is oddly helpful because the permeability glycoprotein is ordinarily a tremendous impediment to berberine absorption. There are a few nutraceuticals that inhibit the permeability glycoprotein complex, and one of the best that also combats the neurodegeneration of Alzheimer's in its own right is the bioflavonoid naringin, which is most richly found in bitter fruits like the ever-elusive white grapefruit. Naringin is, in many ways, an ideal companion to berberine in the battle against Alzheimer's progression because both naringin and berberine decrease the inflammatory cytokines tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-1-beta while increasing the anti-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-10. Brain-specific insulin resistance is also a major part of Alzheimer's, and this is in fact one reason why Alzheimer's is sometimes even referred to as type 3 diabetes. Berberine is well known for lowering blood glucose and supporting overall insulin sensitivity through its activation of AMPK. And so here again, you can see berberine's unique compatibility with naringin against Alzheimer's because naringin also improves insulin sensitivity, particularly in the brain, while, like berberine, also inhibiting acetylcholinesterase, butyrylcholinesterase, and even caspase 3, the primary metabolic enzyme involved in brain cell death. Also, naringin is itself a powerful AMPK activator. You can find berberine as a supplement, usually as a dose of around 500 milligrams per serving, and or as one component in herbs like barberry, Oregon grapefruit, and golden seal. And beyond naringin, you can also enhance the absorption of berberine by taking your berberine with some kind of dietary fat. While daily intake of berberine should be just one of many things you're doing, to avoid the onset and progression of Alzheimer's, I hope this shows you how berberine directly supports this goal, primarily through its critical reduction of neuroinflammation.
Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.